I mentioned before that I was at the dinner table with my father one time and him and my aunt, who's like the head of stem cell, she, there's a Krauss lab at Yale. I don't know this position. I'm probably getting her position wrong. Yeah. But she does a lot of stem cell stuff at Yale. I, that's about all I know about her <laughs> position. It's, it's a little bit uh, above my pay grade, we'll say. And so um, anyway, uh, so we we're both talking and, and he especially espoused this point of view that, you know, robotic surgery is kind of a gimmick and you know, manual surgeons are good enough at it. And like, you know, it's something the hospital can use to draw more patients because they can say they have the latest and the greatest, but it isn't necessarily making much of a difference. Now, I know you had a little bit of a different opinion or, you know, maybe it's not that different, but it's, it's kind of up in the air. I just wanted to get your perspective. Well, on you that. know, now that we're, we're that we, we've talked about this before, you know, my, my first question is like your, you know, your entire specialty is inside robotics and building machines, <laughs> you know, and I, I, I would have said, you know, dad, you think everything I do is just marketing. <laughs> well, I, I, I kind of did, yeah. <laughs> to be honest. Yeah. You know, it's like, but I have to respect his perspective yeah. as a high volume orthopedic surgeon as well. Yeah. I mean, Done a lot of knee and hip and shoulder replacements, so I, you know, I was just like, all right, well, clearly you've been around it more than me. You must know something I don't. No, I mean, and this is, you know, I, I think the 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 kind of the, the higher level concept is yeah. we we don't exactly we, we don't have the best data yet on where we should be using robots and where we shouldn't be using robots. That makes a lot of sense. And um, you know, uh, just having a robot in the OR doesn't make a mediocre surgeon good, right? So a robot yeah. can make a good surgeon theoretically better or the same. Yeah. And having a robot in the room can make a bad surgeon, you know, may, theoretically, hopefully better, but it could also make a bad surgeon, you know, if you have more confidence than you need to, it can make a bad surgeon worse. So it's almost like the bumpers in the bowling alley. I yeah. Know, or, you know, like, you, yeah, you might bounce that ball around just because you can, but it doesn't mean that... It's going to make you really good at what you do. Yeah, yeah. that's correct. Um, and, you know, so one of the, you know, and this is, we, we do a lot of clinical studies in our lab. And so one of the big things we're looking at right now is where is the best spot to be using a robot and, and how you, a robot's not going to, it's not going to make you any better than you already are, but it's a very useful, you know, just like any robot, it's a really useful yeah. tool to do something more precisely. Yeah. And so if you're doing something with more precision and accuracy, where can we use that to really improve the patient experience and their outcome?